Welcome to Pyramids of Adjectives, a review for ESL learners by Kat Avila. You are a builder of pyramids. Adjectives are the way you can tell them apart. A pyramid. A is an indefinite article, and it is used before nouns starting with a consonant sound. An Egyptian. An is an indefinite article, and it is used before nouns starting with a vowel sound. The pyramids of Egypt. The sand here. The is a definite article, and it is used with identified individuals or identified groups. Pyramids are. Pyramids are fantastic. Pyramids are great. Sometimes we don't use any article, and this is with plural nouns about a group in general. Let's start with this pyramid you built. This is a demonstrative adjective. By itself, it would be a demonstrative pronoun. Let's start with this pyramid you built. Or is it that pyramid? Or are they these pyramids? Or are they those pyramids over there? How many pyramids did you build? I built several pyramids. I built five pyramids. I want to build five on a yearly basis. I see more than five pyramids. Which ones are your pyramids? The orange pyramids are my pyramids. Besides orange pyramids, what kinds of pyramids do you like? I like old pyramids, strong pyramids, and tall pyramids. I like Egyptian pyramids, Mexican pyramids, southwestern pyramids, and Martian pyramids. I also like Maslow's pyramid. I like dollar bill pyramids, 20th century pyramids, and first class well built pyramids. I like 24 hour a day pyramids, 10 foot tall pyramids, and two story high pyramids. What condition are your pyramids in? Predicate adjectives follow the linking verb, which is either a form of to be or a verb of perception. Number one is dirty. Its condition is due to the rain. The rain was prior to the hail. Number two seems brand new. It will remain new looking if it is kept indoors. Number three feels rough. It will become smooth after I use sandpaper. Number four looks all right. But it smells strange. Number five appears okay. Adjectives usually come before the noun, the old pyramid. Predicate adjectives follow the linking verb, the pyramid looks old. Object complements follow the direct object. I wanted to see something old. I like them old. And in literature, adjectives sometimes follow the noun. The pyramid, old and majestic, stood before us. For the order of multiple adjectives, as a general rule, the more important the adjective is to the identification, the closer it is to the noun. Participles can be used as adjectives. When ESL learners first learn about participles, we learn that we can use them to make perfect tenses for the passive voice 
and for progressive or continuous tenses. So this use, the use of participles as adjectives, might seem a bit unusual. The use of participial adjectives can be confusing. One way to remember how to use them correctly is that if you're describing how you feel, use the past participle. And if you are describing something that makes you feel that way, then use the present participle. I'm bored. The sand is boring. I'm confused. Your directions are confusing. I'm depressed. The desert is depressing. I'm disappointed. The lack of ghosts is disappointing. I'm embarrassed. My mistake was embarrassing. I'm excited. The Great Pyramid is exciting. I'm fascinated. The Great Sphinx is fascinating. I'm frustrated. The situation is frustrating. I'm interested. The bats are interesting. I'm scared. The mummy is scary. I'm surprised. The news is surprising. I'm tired. The work is tiring. I'm worried. They are late. Adjectives can be made from nouns and verbs by adding suffixes. Here are some examples describing the weather. Cloudy foggy, icy, misty, rainy, smoggy, smoky, snowy, stormy, sunny, windy. Listen and repeat. Political practical, financial, racial, factual, sensual, careful, wonderful, metric, robotic, materialistic, realistic, Listen and repeat. Childish. Foolish. Ladylike. Lifelike. Harmless. Homeless. Daily. Friendly. Budgetary. Monetary, compulsory, satisfactory, famous, religious. For degrees of comparison, adjectives of one syllable and sometimes two syllables use the suffix er for the comparative form and the suffix est for the superlative form. Adjectives of three or more syllables and most two-syllable adjectives use the adverbs more or less for the comparative form and most or least for the superlative form. Also, there are adjectives that do not have comparative or superlative forms because of the ideas they express. For example, unique, final, or dead. You are either dead or you're not dead. Irregular comparisons can be confusing if you don't know the difference between adjectives and adverbs. Thank you for listening to this presentation called Pyramids of Adjectives, a review for ESL learners by Kat Avila. I hope you found this presentation helpful to you in your studies. Good luck.